In a world where the line between good and evil have been destroyed, a new breed of hero and a mysterious cyborg are on a mission that has sparked a battle. Take now that will change the future of civilization. Jean-Claude Van Damme is the first hero of the 21st century in Cyborg. Available September 20th on video cassette. What's up ladies and gentlemen back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing the action-packed sci-fi thriller known as Cyborg starring the muscles from Brussels Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now Van Damme was uh, working under contract with Canon Films at this time. He came off the success of Bloodsport and Black Eagle before signing on to this next project. Um, I believe there was a few other actors considered for this role. Van Damme was not actually the, the first one to be picked for it. But I guess after the success of Bloodsport, you know, they decided to offer him another uh, film to do under Canon Films, which was uh, this film right here, Cyborg. Now, Van Damme's very young here, and you see him provide his signature kicks. And um, in the story of this movie, he basically is like a, like a slinger or a mercenary. And he has to uh, get this uh, cyborg to these uh, scientists because the world is like in this post-apocalyptic uh, age. Kind of like similar to uh, like Mad Max and whatnot, you know, because like uh america in this film is like in the state of uh, a human wasteland but uh if you're curious on why he has to get the cyborg there is because she has the cure to um stop all the death disease and famine and all that other stuff that's going on in the film but there's one problem there's this guy named fender who uh basically is the antagonist of the film and he has his own little ruthless I guess gang or army of uh, pirates and they wreak havoc upon uh, New York City and throughout America when I first watched this as a little kid man I was scared as hell of uh, the Fender guy man especially when he, he took off the sunglasses and you saw the look in his eyes you know, not to mention his tone of voice and the way he speaks. If you watch the, the cold opening to this movie, Cyborg, it kind of brings chills down my spine. You know. Uh, I know this film is labeled as like a sci-fi action movie, but to me it had like some horror elements to it. To it you know, because for me at times it felt like, like, like a horror movie. So... This guy Fender, he basically is like on his way from stopping Van Damme from trying to get the cyborg to the scientists because he doesn't want them to, you know, get the cure. He likes the way the world is, is as a human wasteland with death, famine, disease, all that bad stuff you can name it. So, uh, action ensues and then you basically see Van Damme kicks some serious butt with his martial arts background taking out each of these bandits and pirates one on one eventually we get to the huge climax between Fender and Van Damme uh, not to mention there's also a history between the two characters between the character Van Damme plays um, and Fender so it, it, it shows you uh, how far uh, the character development is and how uh, there's like a personal grudge between the two because I guess Van Damme's character got hired to protect some other family and let's just say things didn't go that well because basically Fender and his pirates ended up crashing that party 
and then you know you fast forward to the present and now he's over here trying to help this uh, cyborg get sent to the scientists so that way they could release the cure and save all of uh, human mankind you know uh, this is uh, a pretty good action thriller it's I guess it's not a very big budget in comparison to what you see with modern day action movies but the story itself kind of you know uh, brings things forward you know yeah, you can't expect too many acting chops from Jean-Claude Van Damme himself <clears throat> because this was a, during the time period where in action movies were mostly focused on the action and less on the acting itself in comparison to what we see in modern day action movies like when you watch films like Withdraw Butler like Olympus Has Fallen you know and White House Down and all these other modern um, action flicks you know where the star doesn't only have to provide like you know the, the, the action but uh, the acting chops behind it as well so uh, don't don't expect that much from them if you're gonna expect good quality acting. It's it's more on I don't know like like <laughs> the cheesy side of things probably. So yeah, it, it, it's kind of like a, a very good B-rated action film, you know. And I know this was very popular at the time when it first came out. I remember watching it as a child. You know, and I gave it a rewatch recently on Amazon Prime Video, which it's available now if you have any membership, you know. But if you guys have any memories of this movie, please leave your comments below. You know, what did you guys like about this movie? What did you not like about this movie? Do you have a favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme film in your filmography? And if not, is this going to be your very first time watching a Jean-Claude Van Damme film? Uh, I might cover some more Jean-Claude Van Damme films uh, down the line. And I know what you guys are saying. Well, you, you haven't gave it a, <laughs> a grade yet. So before I do that, before I go uh, on a scale between 1 to 10, I would probably give it a uh, 8.7 out of 10. Mostly good for the action quality. Uh, if you want to see, I guess, Van Damme's better, I guess, films when it comes to, I guess, good quality acting, I recommend you checking out his films, In How, Wake of Death, and JCVD. Uh, his, his older films, he, uh, improves greatly as a, an actor, making the transition from action films to good quality acting. But as far as his earlier films, like the ones I mentioned earlier in this video, you know, Bloodsport, Cyborg, Black Eagle. Uh, it's mostly you're sticking around for him to, to throw some uh, helicopter kicks and do the splits and whatnot. You know, <laughs> it shows you the different eras of JCVD. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more content like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys around for the next one. All right, peace.